The Puget Sound football team wrapped up its season over the weekend, and it was a season to remember for one sophomore linebacker. Jake Garcia has the story on a tackle that was the first of its kind. This is the path less traveled at the University of Puget Sound. Some days are lonelier than others, but loneliness is an okay price to pay when you're the first. Cut. What? The Loggers football team likes to say its linebacker group is lined with thorns Hello. and lilies. So the camera's for Lily. Lily Godwin, a 19-year-old sophomore, a Division three football player, and a woman. 20 personnel, 20 personnel. They announced my name, and I remember the guys on the other sideline being like, whoa. That's the reaction Lily's gotten her entire life. But here at UPS, it's for all the right reasons. She's a dog. I mean, she's just like the rest of us. Head coach Jeff Thomas had never had a female football player until Lily arrived last year. What? Uncharted territory, but the fit has been off the charts. We didn't feel like it would be fair from the athletic administration through through our football office to, to do something and not do it well. It was clear that they had thought intentionally about how I would fit in every aspect of the program. From laundry, lockers, and her own room on the road, Lily was welcomed with open arms, and her signature open arm tackles quickly endeared her to the team. She shows up every day and works hard and doesn't want anything given to her, um, so she can't help but be respected on her team. Those are the seeds Lily has left everywhere she's been. Down in Arizona, her high school coach, Daniel Cardiel, said Lily was the literal heartbeat of his team. She didn't just play linebacker. She also ran the ball. She was our running back as well. Without her, there wouldn't have been a team. And now that she's gone, there isn't one. After she left, uh, the following year, uh, we didn't have enough players coming out, so we canceled the season. Sequoia Charter School in Mesa now only has flag football. It's a situation Lily dealt with as a freshman before she rallied enough players to field a tackle team her sophomore year. Her mom said even still, it wasn't ideal. During practices, only half of the people that said they were gonna play would show up. A dark situation, but Lily managed to find the light. Yes! As we like moved into uh, tackle football, like all the things about football were like making sense. It was clicking for me. One problem tackled her next tackle was even sweeter. 157 to play fourth quarter. It happened this year at this stadium against Linfield. October 21st, the moment where Lily planted roots. The boundary corner was playing man, so my responsibilities run game. I could see it in my head. Lily's dad was watching on the live stream. The fullback was just coming up the middle. Patting my feet, because that's what we got to do. She went, OK, let's go. Shuffled along uh, the back, trying to track the ball. Just boom. I just filled the hole that was there. It was amazing to watch. Like, I saw it, and I was like, oh, yeah. There were a lot of expletives. Dwight was going through all the fields and for good reason. It's my daughter's first tackle in a college football game. Yes, that's awesome. Not just a first for her, a first for everyone. I am the first uh, a woman to make an unassisted tackle in NCAA football history. <laughs> it's so weird to think about because I did not even realized just how unique what I was doing was. Lily's taken the trail less traveled because she's a trailblazer. They get so confused sometimes when they see um, that it's it's a woman who's doing this. While that path can be a lonely one, she wasn't alone when she did this. They all rubbed it. The whole stadium went absolutely crazy. And that made all the difference. Lily was the first. She knows she won't be the last. I would love for it to just get to a point where it's just, oh, it's a girl, and you just like move on. It's just a natural thing. At the University of Puget Sound, Jake Garcia, King 5 Sports.